split last night in Matthew 24. Because we look how the Christian looks to a Jewish book and, you know, there's the earthquake, so Jesus must be coming. Now, Jesus is coming. But nowhere, nowhere in the scriptures are we to look for signs of Jesus coming. We're to preach the gospel. We're to help Christians to grow. And then while we do that, Jesus is going to come. It's not cloud formations. It's not uh, earthquakes. It's not wars. It's not the, you know, the Chinese balloon and all that other nonsense. Jesus Christ will come for his church without signs. <clears throat> signs are for Jews. All the things that we read yesterday and all the things we're going to look at today is the Jew at the time of Jesus. The Jews in the time of the book of Acts, the Jew in the time of the tribulation, and we're going to continue in the book of tribulation. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, that's the Antichrist. We are now three and a half years into the tribulation. We are in the great tribulation. So if 2415 takes us three and a half years into the tribulation, Seven years. What do you think Matthew 24, 1 through 14 took you through? It took you in the beginning of the tribulation period. <clears throat> Spoken by Daniel. Daniel 7, 8. Revelation 19. John 5. He's talking about the time when the Antichrist opens up the veil, opens up the temple that's there in the tribulation period, which there is no temple now since 70 AD, the church age. There's no temple. There will be a temple in the tribulation period. There will become a time that when the Jews will go to the temple for the three years, the three times a year to, to be there, the, the veil is going to open up and there he is seated on the mercy seat. And at that moment, the Jews are going to realize we are in trouble. Because the only one that belongs in that mercy seat is Jehovah. Jehovah is a spirit. You can't see a spirit. And Daniel talks about, the book of Revelation talks about, there is countless scriptures of the Antichrist. Stand in the holy place. That's the most holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. So whoso readeth, it, it's written to Jews. So here's a prophecy that in the future, the Jews are going to be reading the New Testament. And they'll be given light and revelation. Then let them which are in Judea, that's south of Israel. That's who Daniel writes to. That's who Jeremiah writes to. Flee to the mountains. Get out. Because the Antichrist is now going to have his revenge. He's going to have wanted, dead or alive, I don't care which, Jews. He's going to massacre the Jews. And Jesus puts to the point is, when this event happens, you are three and a half years in the tribulation period. Run. Run for your lives. Let him which is on the housetop. You say, well, what's that? Peter was on the housetop. It was like a porch. It was a seating area. Not come down to take anything out of his house. Don't look to your possessions. Don't look to your goods. That moment when you hear the news that you won't believe what just happened in the temple, run. Run what you have. Neither let him which is in the field turn back to take his clothes. You're out in the field and you hear the news, run. Don't go back to your house. You go with what you have and nothing else. There's nowhere, there's nowhere what we're reading in the church age. Woe, I mean, God says woe, he means stop. Unto them that are with child. Or to them that give suck in those days. You're not going to be able to run. You're not going to be able to go as fast. When you got kids, kids under toe and, and you got kids under breast, 
you're not going to be as mobile. And don't think just because you're pregnant, you know, you're going to get, no. Revelation 12, Satan's after that woman with a child. That woman's Israel. So it'll be harder for you pregnant with children. I mean, I don't know how many children you've got, but trying to get them all underhand and one runs this way, one runs that way. It's going to be chaos. And then when it comes up to the time of the mark, you need child care. You're not going to get it. But pray. Here's a, now, Jesus is talking. Jesus is commanding. Jews today, if you talk to a Jew, I don't care about the New Testament. I don't care about the gospel. That's not my book. Well, here Jesus is putting illustrations and words to his people, assuming to the fact is that the Jews are going to turn to the New Testament one day. And they're going to open up because they pray your flight be not in the winter. Well, no. Hey, the Antichrist just showed himself. That happened. Maybe Jesus is the one. Maybe we should start paying attention to his words. He says, pray your flight not be in the winter. Neither on the Sabbath day. Sabbath day, we're not under the Sabbath day. The planes are going to be grounded in the winter. The planes are going to be grounded, closed on the Sabbath day. Now, take your Bibles to Revelation 12. This is all prescribed. And if a Jew gets a Bible that has cross-references, well, boy, what's he going to do? And I'm looking for one verse here before we get to the one I, I want to look at. You talk about the, the woman with child. Look at Revelation 12, 4. The third part of his tail drew the stars in heaven, did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, that's Israel, that's, that's Joseph's dream, which was ready to deliver for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay, you think, okay, I'm pregnant. No, 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 no. You got a you got a Jewish child in your belly. You got a Jewish child you're pulling by the hand. You got a Jewish child on your breast. The Antichrist says, let me at him. Because we're going to chop that head off. We're going to take his body. We're, we're, we're going to offer his body as the literal body of Jesus, a Jewish. We're going to take the blood and we're going to offer it as the literal blood, literal blood, literal body, literal blood of a Jewish child, of a Jewish person. Because that's what they do at the mass today. They take a Jewish person, Jesus. He came unto his own. He's Jewish. This is the literal body. This is the literal blood. Yeah, in the tribulation period, it will be flesh, it will be blood, but not of Jesus. Jewish. So we move down to Revelation 12, 14. And the woman were given two wings of a great eagle. There's your airplane. That she might fly in the wilderness. If it's winter, the plane's grounded. If it's Sabbath, no flights. She's flying to the wilderness. She's flying to Celepetra. They may be running to Celepetra. The mountains, the rock fortress of Edom, they're gone. They are running from the devil. The face of the serpent. The Bible says that serpent, that devil, is the old serpent, is Satan, is the devil. They're running to Celepetra because that man in the most holy place, seated on the throne, the abomination of desolation of Daniel, who we know about, that's Satan. And they get to the airport. Sorry, it's Saturday. Planes won't open to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Can't get the planes off the ground. It, it, it's, it's ice. It's freezing. Back to... Matthew 24. Now, you see what the problem is when, when the church goes running to Matthew 24. Oh, there's earthquakes. Jesus is coming. Oh, there's... Uh, what are you going to do about your airplanes flying on Saturday? By the way, 
in the tribulation period. Did you see that? The Sabbath, we go back to Jewish time. We're not under the Popish time. We're not under the Roman Catholic time. We may still be under God's calendar of the Jews and the blank with the Catholic calendar. So at this point in time, in the three and a half years of the tribulation period, you better not be pregnant. You better not have to have your flight. You better watch out for Sabbath days. You're not. You're going to be restricted. I mean, the law is coming back. I don't care what you say. So, he says in verse 21, for there shall be great tribulation. Great tribulation is the last half, the three and a half years to the seventh year. That's great tribulation. That's where Satan releases all his fury. Go back to Revelation 12 and, and, and read that. He's been kicked out of heaven. He's not going to heaven no more. He knows he has a short time. What's the short time? Three and a half years. Will be to the world. I mean, Satan rules. We rule for Satan. And you wait till he, he gets cast to the earth. <laughs> Such as was not this great tribulation period since the beginning of the world to this time. No, not ever. He said, well, What about Noah in the flood? That's nothing. You ever read the book of Revelation? You ever read about the seals, the trumpets, the vials, the three woes, these big animals that have scorpion tails that you're going to look for death, you're not going to find it. And like the book of Exodus, the water turns to blood. The, 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 the animals die in, in the oceans. It's going to stink. It's going to upset, save the whales. And when they're floating upside down, they're getting bloated. And the tree lovers, one third of the trees are burnt up. There are earthquakes all over the place. The fierce anger of the devil. Jews are in complete torment. Except those days be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. You know, you know what Jesus, who is God, just said right now? Time is going to change in the tribulation period. If it didn't, no one would come out of the tribulation period. At the end of seven years, there would be nobody. There should no flesh be saved. There's flesh that are saved. There are Jews in Celepetra that will be saved. There are Gentile nations that have helped the Jews. They'll be saved. they'll go into the into the millennium. But for the elect's sake, now there are Jesus is the elect. It's not the church. Israel is elect, and I had a list somewhere. It's not in this section. Who was the elect? I think it's in Peter. But there are elects. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I think it's Peter. I have it written in. Let's go and see real quick. Peter and Paul talks about the predestination. But it's not Peter. It's in Paul. Okay. Uh, let's see. I had a list. Who was the elect? But I'll tell you right now, it's one of the elect is is the Jews. One hundred forty four thousand are the elect. So whether it be the nation of Israel or the one hundred forty four thousand, time. I mean, you think time is short now. You know why you think time is short right now? Because we're going to come to a time of three and a half years. It's going to fly by for God's people. I don't know about the press. I mean, you, you could be at work and you say, man, time just flew by. And you, your co-worker's like, it did. <laughs> this is the worst day I ever had. <laughs> I didn't think it was ever going to end. But for the elect's sake, with 144,000 or the Jews, those days shall be shortened. I'm not going to tell you how God's going to do it. I'm not going to tell you it's going to be the, the sun and the moon or just the fact is... You know, like I said, you could feel like it's been shortened. I don't think it's going to be feeling like it's going to be shortened. But 
tribulation period is three and a half years. I don't know what God's going to do. It's going to be a sign, a wonder, and a miracle for the Jews. Whatever God does. Then if any man shall say, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe him not. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you go back to chapter 25, what we read last night, and how did I get to 23? 25, no, 24. I'm all messed up here. You go back to 24, where we verse 5. Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Uh-oh, uh -oh, what are you going to do with that one? I gave you 46 names of people who profess to be Jesus. And that was a partial list. In the tribulation period, there's going to be people running around. Here's Christ. There's Christ. Here's a Christ. There's a Christ everywhere. Christ, Christ, Christ. And Jesus says, believe them not. You say, well, you're talking about the Antichrist. All right, verse 24. For there shall rise false Christ, plural. You see, you got to take all 66 books of the Bible and put it as one to realize. Because you don't learn about in the book of Revelation, there are false Christs. you got the Antichrist and the false prophet. Matthew and Daniel, you don't read about the Antichrist sitting in the most holy place. And false prophets, so you take the false prophets, look at 2411. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. So what we read yesterday was also, yes, in the time of Jesus, in the time of the Acts of Apostles, there will be false Christ, there will be false prophets in the church age there'll be false christ going even back before the king james 1611 and also in the tribulation period but you gotta rightly divide because we don't look for earthquakes we don't look for droughts that's been happening all the time you know why there's droughts in in india not because Jesus is coming, sorry to say because they want to worship every god all the gods all the gods and grandma's moo moo and we can't have hamburgers that may be grandpa. And they take their babies and they roll the big elephant god in the streets and they throw their babies underneath those wheels and they get crushed to their gods. And God is judging. You can't say, okay, America's running out of money and America's running out of water. America's running out of food. We can't get toilet paper and there's balloons flying over our head and we're getting earthquakes and we're, we, we get all these hurricanes and, and, and this is Jesus coming. No, this is the wrath of God on a nation that said, God, we don't want you. We don't want your Bible. We don't want Jesus Christ. We want Muslims. We want the Catholics. We want the great Native American spirit. We want the Mormons. We want everything but you, God. And we'll teach our children evolution that we come from monkeys and nothing. God says, oh yeah? I'll show you how powerful I am. Mother Nature, El Nemo, global warming. God says, oh. They did that in Jeremiah. Oh, you know why everything's so wrong? Because we haven't been baking cakes to the Queen of Heaven. You know what happened to Judah and Jeremiah's time? They got sacked. You know what's going to happen to America? We're going to get sacked. Jesus is coming. He is coming. But the collapse of America does not say, all right, he's coming. No. You know what says Jesus is coming? Paul wrote about it. That's it. You know, hooky pooky, hooky booky. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna look at that in a moment. There is nothing. There is nothing for a Christian like me to say. Oh, look what's happened. Jesus is coming. No. Well, the world's getting violent. The world's getting violent. the world's in violence in Noah's time. Jesus didn't come. The water came. What certifies to me that? Jesus Christ is going to come and rapture me out if I'm alive or dead. The King James 1611, 66 books of the Bible. How do you know? Enoch was raptured. That's the way back there in Genesis. Enoch preached the book of Jude. 
Paul said it was good. Paul said it was gonna happen. You, that's it. Faith. The Christian lives by faith. Faith cometh by hearing, not watching, and hearing by the word of God, not what's going around me. And we're looking at some things here. For there shall rise false Christ, plural, false prophets, plural. This is in the tribulation period. The Antichrist is at three and a half years. He and look at it, you got false Christ running around, false prophets. Are they going against the Antichrist or are they working with the Antichrist? I don't know. But there's a false prophet that works under the Antichrist. It's the son of perdition. It's Judas. And shall show great signs and wonderful in so much that we have to look at some other verses. Okay? We have to look at Revelation 13, Re Revelation 13, 13. Revelation 13, 13. We are in the tribulation period, Revelation 13, 13. This is the Antichrist. Look at look at the end of verse 12. Which dwelled the whole the worship the whole beast, the first beast, and whose deadly wound was healed. That's the Antichrist. All right, here comes Judas. Because he says, exercise all power of the first beast, that's the Antichrist, before him. All right, here comes Judas. He does great wonders. So that he maketh fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of man. Well, look at that. He deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. All right, here you got powers and wonders and signs defying the scriptures because even the Gentiles and the Jews are falling for it. I'm going to tell you something in a moment. Okay? In the tribulation period, Judas and the Antichrist, the Antichrist gets a deadly wound. He comes back to life. He dies and is resurrected. Oh, look at me. I'm Jesus. Okay? 2 Thessalonians 2. I'm going to say something very, very harsh. And some of you are going to hate me. In a moment. Second Thessalonians 2, not the scripture, but what I'm going to say after the scripture. Second Thessalonians 2, 9. Even him who's coming as the working of Satan, that's the Antichrist, with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Well, that's a false prophet. The Antichrist, the false prophet, are going to do signs and wonders and tongues. That is, here we go, that is the danger of the charismatic movement today in the Pentecostals. The Pentecostals are preparing you for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is going to have power of languages because he's got to speak to the whole world. Well, look at him, he talks in tongues. Look at the, ooh, look at all the wonders, look at the fire, look at the healing he does. Everything that Jesus did, the Antichrist is going to do. That's what Antichrist is. Back to Matthew. That's the danger of the Pentecostals. Pentecostals don't follow Jesus. They follow the Antichrist. So, we were. Let's see. So, verse 24 there shall rise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs. And I showed you a verse in, in 1 Corinthians 1 21, I believe it was. Jews require a sign. The main purpose of the Antichrist and the signs and wonders is to get those Jews to be deceived. The Gentiles do. You get Gentiles today that are fooled by the signs and wonders and healing. They'll sit in front of a woman preacher on television. The Bible says you're not to have a woman preacher. If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. There's the Jews. 
I'm not sure if you're going to place that under 144,000. You say, well, how can 144,000 be the elect? They got the sign and seal on their foreheads of Jehovah. They had to have been chosen. Chosen. But most likely for the story to be as sure is the Jew, the Hebrew, the nation of Israel. There will be Jews that will be tricked or spooked by the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the false prophet and the false Christ. Not every Jew is going to be saved out of tribulation. Wherefore, if they say unto you, or when, behold, I have told you before. He said, when did Jesus say this before? John told you. There's many things that Jesus spoke and done that's not recorded. Wherefore, if they say unto you, behold, he's in the desert. You know how many false prophets and, and false people and all taking you off these places? You know, this, this branch Davidian, this, you know, place over here in Asia, up in the mountains, up up in Mecca and over here for Kool-Aid land and all that. Where does that come from? And how many people fall for that? And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care you don't like it, that stuff, you can kick my butt in Jesus Christ and say, I want him to say it. You can, we're, going to have a, we're going to have a trip and we're going to go take the footsteps where Jesus did in Israel. Nowhere does it say for a Christian to do that. Oh, we're going to go to Israel. <laughs> You're going to go find Jesus in Israel? Beware desert. Go not forth. He's in the secret chambers. There's your masons. And the higher you go, the more you go, and the more different rings you get, blah, 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 blah. Or the Mormon church, you know, they got the secret place and the locked up place and all that. Believe it not. I won't go to Israel because I'm not going to have a Catholic or an unsaved person or an Arabian tell me what my King James Bible says. I would have the nerve to be, you know, if I got in that bus and all that, and you know, this is my, excuse me, sir. Which Bible do you read and listen to? <laughs> I wonder what the answer would be. <clears throat> you want to stop the bus and let me off? Because you're not going to ask a Catholic what Bible they do, and they're going to tell you, what the King James Bible? No, I ain't going to tell you that. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, okay, here we go. We're going somewhere else now. We're going somewhere else now. Ready? As the lightning comes out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall the coming of the sun be. All right, here's the second coming of Jesus Christ. He said, as the lightning comes out of the east and heads to the west, that is the coming of the Son of Man. How did the how did the, the Antichrist and the false promise Im imitate that? Didn't they call fire out of heaven? Back in Exodus, it said there was lightning and fire ran along the ground. <laughs> that must have been interesting. They say a hot thunderbolt. Here's a hot thunderbolt. When, when the Antichrist puts fire down, he's making you... Well, you know, you, you know, Jesus said, as the lightning comes out of the east and comes from the west, watch this, guys. And he calls for his thunder and lightning. Ooh, he's got to be the son of man. He's got to be the Messiah. Warning. Because as a Jew, you can take Matthew 24 and take it out of context, just like your Baptists do. For wheresoever the carcass is, that's a dead body, there will the eagles be gathered together. And he gave her wings like to an eagle. It could be that it's going to be a lot of many dead Jews on the way to Celebrate, where all the airplanes will be gathered. I don't know. I'm speculating. I could be wrong about that. Don't take it. Nail it down because I could be wrong. Immediately after the tribulation, seven years, 
In those days shall the sun be darkened. No sun. And you'll find this in the book of Revelation. At the end of all the plagues, the sun is dark. There is no light. The moon shall not give her light. Oh, look at that. The moon is a female. Revelation 12, it's a woman. Joseph dreaming was his mother. And the 11 angels, I mean 11 stars, excuse me. And the stars shall fall from heaven. That's Revelation 12. When, when the, the devil's tail. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. The powers and principalities and, and all that is of Satan that are where NASA shouldn't be. With their dragon. Pastor, oh, isn't it, the space program so great? You mean the dragon space program? Yeah, we're going to watch it. You don't know what the Bible says. Oh, that's great. You have no business honoring NASA's dragon. Or the Chinese dragon with his belly button, or whatever that thing was in the sky the other night. My question is, America got all upset about the, the, the balloon in, from China. Do we send spy planes and all that? You know what gets me sick and tired of America? You can't do it, but America can. You can't bounce a check. We're going to put you in jail. But America bounces a check every single time it writes a check. Every day. Then, so when the sun is gone, the moon is gone, no light, the stars fall. At the end of the seven years, I believe the Jews are going to read this and the Jews are going to understand. That moment when they look up in the skies and sell pizza, hey, it's got dark. You know, you know what the Bible says? The Messiah is coming. That's going to take faith. Then shall appear the sign. Did you get that? The Son of Man, that's Jesus, all through Matthew, in heaven. And then shall all the tribes, 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 James, chapter 1. James, chapter 1. Scripture with scripture. Are you ready? James, a servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribe, 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 which are scattered aboard. Greetings. You know what James is for? The Jews in tribulation period. I mean, you can spiritually apply to the church. James is the only ones that would be tribes would be the Asian people. Europeans are not tribes. Maybe the Africans. Japheth is not tribes. Okay? Just taking tribe, 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 tribe. And back to Matthew 24. I knew you'd get mad at me. That's okay. I'm just reading to you what the Bible said, red and white, black and white. He shall send from, oh, wait a minute. Where, where was it? The sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Twelve. They shall see the Son of Man coming. Why should they see the Son of Man coming? Because they were just told, look for the sign, look for the end of the tribulation period, look for the sun going dark, look for the moon going dark, look for the sun, look for the stars that go, then you shall see the sign. Those signs, 1 Corinthians 1, I forget what the verse was, signs are for Jews. Shall I see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. With power and great glory on a horse. 
the power and great glory, he's going to wipe out the enemies of the Jews. He's going to put Satan in prison for a thousand years. He's going to take the Antichrist and the false prophet. He's going to cast them into the lake of fire. He shall send his angel. That's why, because Jesus said in Matthew, those that die are likened to the angels. That could be the Christians. And angels, or angels, angels, and the Christians. With a great sound of a trumpet. Oh, see, there, there, there it is, there it is, sir, there it is, sir, there it is, sir. First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, I'm going to shoot your, your balloon down. Now, I, now you can bite and shoot the balloon down, but I'll shoot the balloon down. First Thessalonians 4, 16. You see, Matthew 24 is the church, and you said the trumpet. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Yes, yeah, see, there it is, with the voice of an archangel. Matthew 24 said angel, it didn't say archangel. With the trump of God, not Donald. Trump of God, Matthew 24, Matthew 24. I don't like him. He's, he's ruined our church philosophy. Matthew 24. All right. Matthew 24, 31. He shall send his angels, not archangel, angels plural, with a great sound of a trumpet, not trump. That's not the church. They shall gather together as elect the Jews and sell Petra, like they did when they crossed the Jordan River and got Rahab the harlot. Why would you say Rahab the harlot? Because the Jews have been involved in hard to hard, whoredom, according to the Old Testament, with their gods and their worship of gods, called harlot, harlot tree. From the four winds, that's kind of interesting because north, east, west, and south, the Jews have been scattered all over the world like they are now. From one end of the heaven to the other. So the Jews are not only going to be in one specific place of Sela uh, uh, but there is that place, the wilderness. And there'll be other places where they're at. And we're going to stop right there.